Hey again guys, Vexinado here. Um, part one of this video, we took a look at the Formula X synthesizer. Uh, here I want to show you um, a little device that is derivative from the form from the big synthesizer from the Formula X, which is the Formula FX. Um, basically what it is, is we've stripped down from the synth, um, all the synthesis section, the sound generation section, and we've kept just the filter section and the effects section, provided it um, with input. It is a mono to stereo um, device at the moment. Um, perhaps in the future we'll make different uh, version that is maybe mono to uh, sorry stereo to stereo. But for right now, this is the mono to stereo version, and the reason is because this way we don't have to duplicate anything, and is the cheapest. We wanted to provide a cheap DSP kind of um, effect device um, that is based on the Formula X. So this is what I described is exactly what you have. Um, once you've seen the Formula X video, there's not too much to say about this, except that you ha you get those um, two filters, the same configuration, the poly filter in a, ser in a serial design into the um, the three mode uh, low pass filter uh, with the P1, P5 and M1 uh, filters. And of course, all the effects um, from the Formula X, the, the tremolo, chorus, phaser, delay and EQ. Um, so it is, it, as we said, it is an effects box, um, and we did strip down all the sound generation and is much, much cheaper on DSP, but we cheated in one little tiny thing, is we did pair it with a um, noise oscillator. So what you can do is be either in input mode, where it'll be just a normal filtering and effects box based on whatever you input over here, or you can still use it to craft um, some drones, some percussions, and some, some sounds um, by putting it into noise mode. And it's actually very nice. I kind of like it a lot myself. You get pretty cool things. So just for that quick example, uh, one thing I do want to mention is we did strip off, like I said, the synthesis and everything and everything, but you do see MIDI input over here, and what this is used for, you can still use, you know, MIDI to um, control triggering of the envelopes for both filters. And further than that, you can also use aftertouch and keyboard tracking on both of the filters. So you can actually be sending, um, you know, any monophonic uh, MIDI signal, and it'll, uh, depending on what you do and how you set the knobs, it'll track your notes, um, it'll track your aftertouch, and of course your MIDI gates, um, which is kind of a no-brainer, obviously. Um, also, the LFOs and everything, everything stays the same. Everything is exactly like the synth in this regard that they re-trigger to your MIDI if you would like them to, um, both the LFOs and the tremolo over here. So everything is syncable, everything is controllable via MIDI. Um, and again, the big difference is we've stripped the synth, two, di two big differences. We've stripped the synthesis section, three big differences, okay? We've stripped the synth synthesis section so you don't have this whole huge device. That's one big difference. The second thing is um, that um, it is much lighter on DSP, obviously, um, because it doesn't have all these other things in it. And the third thing is that while it still responds to MIDI, it is a monophonic device now. Um, it, there's no polyphony involved, there's no voice uh, voice assignments uh, over here on the life bar, nothing. Uh, so while sending MIDI, just keep that in mind, that you need to send monophonic MIDI. Treat this like a monosynth in regards to whatever MIDI you're sending. Um, so as cool as we think that the Formula X synth itself is, we think this device is equally as awesome. Uh, you can pair it with any of the scope synth, uh, synths or anything coming from the VST world or external world. And um, it's a really, really cool effect box. So this comes with the Formula X uh, synth. You don't need to buy both of them. You buy the synth, you get this um, as a bonus with the machine. The last cool thing that I want to mention about this machine is um, it can load all the presets from the Formula X. So for example, I open the synths uh, preset thingy and I'm moving around the presets. So all the presets, you know, load on the effects device as well. So I know this is a bit a bit random, obviously, but sometimes this is exactly what you want, you know. Uh, you just want to go through different forms. You have that option, okay? Any, that's what I'm saying. So you can go through anything here, and it'll kind of sort of randomize your filters. And to me, it's a cool option. I don't know. Maybe some of you guys will love it, and for some of you, it'll be useless. But... Um, 
check out this device as well. Um, Formula X, Formula FX, coming to the Sonicor scope. Thanks for watching this video.